Full resumption is around the corner and today I'm going to be prepping my tomato sauce in readiness for making my children's school meals. So I need their lunch boxes to be, you know, make healthy meals and for them. And this tomato sauce is something that I prep to make me to easily prepare their meals. I've already made some which is frozen and I also made some other batch which I decided to film and show you. So if this is something that you would like to see, please stay back. Don't forget to subscribe to Mommy Siom. Also, give this video a thumbs up. Please support me, support Mommy Siom and also leave a comment in the comment section. And talking about lunch boxes, I've got a breakfast and lunch box meal plan for kids which um, you can always uh, get in the description box below. Uh, it's been there for years. It's quite affordable. I just made it to make it easier for moms who don't have a meal plan for their children. You can also go to my website and make a meal plan from the recipes there if you don't want to buy the meal plan. It, it, you can go and get it free from the website without talking too much. Let's start. I've got my ingredients here. So it's just basic. It's tomatoes, the red bell peppers, the long red peppers, ginger, garlic, and also basil leaves you can use scent leaf in place of basil leaf or that's a charm or a firin and what i'm going to do now is to deceive the peppers i'm going to cut the peppers and deceive it um i had the seeds make it bitter i don't know i've never tasted it anyway and then i'm going to also cut my onions just remove the back of the onions and scrape my ginger. I learned how to scrape ginger with a spoon from uh, Flo Chigere. She taught me how to do this. I learned it from her channel. And also, I'm going to also remove my, the back of my garlic. And then I'm going to give everything a quick wash. Once they are all washed, I'm going to cut them into small pieces. So just cut everything up. So just cut everything up. I've also got a vegetable sauce which you can use for the kids too. I'll put a link up there or in the description box below for you also to make that if you want to make the vegetable puree or the vegetable sauce which you can also use for your kids your baby and kids meal so i'm boiling down my tomatoes and the peppers now while it's boiling down to ensure that all the liquid is um, dried up the flavors are also infusing so the flavors of the garlic the flavors of the ginger and also the scent leaf is infusing into this tomato sauce which gives it a very very lovely aroma when you are cooking um like i said i didn't put much because um i can always put other ingredients to make my sauces different in terms of taste when i'm making food once my tomato is dried up i'm going to put it in a bowl allow it to cool a bit and then I'm going to use my hand blender to blend it up. I like using my hand blender sometimes because it's easier to wash as you can see what you're washing is not much and um, a lot of people think hand blender is only for making baby food but it's not you can use it a whole lot in the kitchen for other things and um, yeah so if you've got a hand blender get it out and use it sometimes for other things like blending your tomatoes so that's our tomato sauce here it's all done and um, it's simple it's you can use it in your different meals like jollof rice couscous make stew make sauce for yam potatoes plantain a whole lot of things as i said earlier i stored it in small containers and also in big containers because you can also use it to prepare big meals maybe for the whole family but this is just to show you how i start my meal prep for the school lunch box so keep an eye for my school lunch box meals and 
also thank you for watching please subscribe if you haven't done so give me a thumbs up and see you in my next video bye